Hello, welcome to this tutorial. I'm Morris Nipa, and today I'm going to show you how to create octagonal grid line for uh, octagonal building, especially for a church. Now, if I go if I go to my right side, I'm going to access or uh, I'll be looking for applications and components button here. I'll click on this button you see on the screen here, and here will this one will bring me this dialog box here or this field. In here, I'll be able to feed in the macro that I'm looking for that will help me create this particular grid line. Now, and this macro is called radial grid. Now, I'll double click on this grid, on this uh, macro, and uh, this dialog box will come up for radial grid line. And in here is where I'll be able to feed in my measurements that will be able to define this octagonal grid for me. Now we have under coordinates, we have the x, y definable, uh, being defined by degrees and elevations and labels that, that will, we, we, we will place uh, in, in step by step as we go. Now let's start with the, z, with the x axis and prior, and prior to that, I'll take you here. On the screen you can see a default grid line that normally appear in either in, in, in rectangular shape or square shape but this time around we are going to hide this and we are, we are going to customize our own grid grid line in a shape of uh, octagonal or octagon now i'll start with the x-axis in here if i double click if I uh, if I decide to use these settings here, I'll just go ahead and click modify, apply, and accept. And let me activate this once again. And I'll go straight here. And I'm going to use the same same settings. And you'll be able to see how how these settings appear if we place them on our window. Now let me place it there. And this is how it looks. Not really what we intend to have or the goal we intend to achieve this is not even close to what we intend to to do so what i'm going to do it's very simple for the time being let me hide this either uh, uh, click on this then come here delete or hide it from the view now if you take a look at this let's first of all get rid of what we don't want we don't want we don't need this we'll get rid of that and we'll have and this distance and this distance is defined by by this 2.5 we'll get rid of that we don't need that and this distance and this distance it is defined by this one meter the one meter is is the distance from this end to that end and this six meter is is a d is an offset distance from the center of our i mean uh, i mean of, of of our circle so we'll get rid of it first we'll get rid of that and we'll get rid of this one get rid of one meter and we are going to get rid of this one meter also we'll get rid of that and what we are going to change here we are going to change the height of our uh, building here we we'll change this to we change this to six meters inst instead of, of uh, 6.4 and this one also will change to three meters right there and add another height here of 10 meters just add add 10 meters there now we'll come to x-axis we are going to start from zero and give a space there you can see we are pointing right to the center if you get rid of that zero we are getting an offset of 3.5 at an interval uh, 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 i mean 3.5 from from this center to that center to that center so we have how many grid lines we have three one two three so we want to change this uh, offset distance from the center to five meters feet five meters there and how many uh, or at at what interval of the center we need four of them now off the center we need we will just place it we don't we don't need an offset of of our center we just we want to point right at the center so we'll just feed zero there and we put a space right there now how many grid lines do we need to make a hole or to create a polygon this is this is going to be defined 
by our y axis here and with help of our angles of with angles to complete the whole circle to create an octagon grid just watch and how just watch on how i'm going to do this i'll need how many i'll need nine grid grid lines here i'll feed nine grid lines right there and i'll go ahead and get rid of 15 degrees i'll feed here instead of 15 i'm going to feed here 45 to complete our circle with an octagon inside it now once you've done that just go ahead and click modify apply and accept and still it's not appearing what you are going to do once again just double click uh, double click to uh, invoke or to activate this command and go ahead and click and and click somewhere here and place your your grid line now we'll get rid of the of the previous one just go ahead and select and delete and once you've created that we'll go ahead and here i'll go ahead here and place our labels on x axis we'll go ahead and place and feed in either a this one is, it depends with the choice of your words or whichever letters of your choice you can feed here i prefer a, a and b a b and c and d and d e now here i'll just feed just monitor or just have a closer look if i click modify you'll be able to see all the, these letters being reflected on our grid line here i'll double click on it once again and come here and feed it here a b and c and d give a space and feed e so if i go ahead and click modify you'll be able to see our grid lines in place so i'll go ahead again and, and feed in the numericals at y axis at feed four there at feed five there i'll feed six there i'll feed i'll feed six there and seven there and eight there i'll go for nine and ten right there now i'll go ahead and click modify that been reflected on our grid line so i'll go ahead and close this box fit all and if you fit all you'll you'll be prompted with the press with the presence of our previous grid line that we 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 tried to hide from 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 showing on our window now i'll go ahead and by select go ahead and select it right click and come to either delete or hide in this case we'll hide it we don't want to get rid of it at all so that's how it looks here in for now now once you've created this just go ahead and, and come to steel select on steel uh, on on steel and we want to place our first column right there and double click on that column to customize or select an appropriate size of our steel column i'll come to this radio button here this will take me straight to dialog uh, profile catalog and I'll, from there I'll be, I'll be able to pick on the the proper size or the appropriate size of the column i'll come to universal beams here uh, ub and scroll down i want to use this size here for four six i'll go ahead and click apply and give it an uh, i'll give it a node here there by clicking on okay then come here and click okay also so this is how it looks and it's not in line with our grid it's it's it, it, it is pointing or or it is it's position it, it, it is positioning itself away from our grid line so what do we do taking into account that our grid line is separated at a, at a dist uh, at an angle of 45 degrees i'll just double click on it and come here and uh, rotation and i'll feed here 45 and I click modify and it will reposition uh, reposition itself according to that angle of 45 degrees now i'll double click on this once again and check on at the bottom of, of my column and the height of my column is six meters and it's starting right from zero zero level right on top of the ground and i'm going to place my base plate here i'll come to applications and components and here i'll just type base plate right there from here you can pick whichever macro that will help you create a base plate very fast in this case i'll just pick on this one randomly i'll select on the column here and i'll place it right there i'll give it some time to process that information and the base plate will be placed in that position 
that's how it looks i'll redraw that and uh, every time re you redraw you'll be you'll be prompted with the presence of, of your previous grid line the conventional one just don't hesitate to hide it don't don't worry just go ahead and hide it or or if you don't want it completely just get rid of it just delete it now i have that and once you have that i want to populate this along these grid lines from i mean one two three four five six and seven eight now how do you how do we populate this along this grid line i'm going to do this exactly and allow you allow you to see whatever i'm going to do i'll come here and applications and component and th this is here this is where we get all the macros or i mean all the tools that simplifies our work now i'm going to use array tool this is a very special tool I'll double click on it and how many of these do I need I need eight of them now what I'm going to do I'll just come here and and right and 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 select on that on, on the drop down arrow and pick on the number of objects and I'll feed here eight I need eight of them and I'll go back I'll, I'll, cl I'll click modify then go back and use another another method 45 I'll go ahead and click modify because I want to combine these two options together and work with them one go now I'm going to select on this then press my middle button on the mouse then I'll come at the bottom end here and define my first point as at, uh, at the bottom of that column then stretch my way all the way to this end and, and select my uh, second point and come all the way here and define my third point here and there we are we have all these columns in these positions and some are off the po off their positions and don't worry about that you are going to rectify that so how do you rectify this just double click any of these columns then zoom close go back to polar array a dialog box and what you do just come to creation method here and click the, this drop down arrow and here you pick on the number of objects and in here feed eight click modify and we'll have all of them but we have one out of place how do you feel just come to fill by click this drop down arrow and click full circle and click ok or modify click apply and, and give it an okay there by, by clicking on okay button come to navigate and try to rotate this this what we have now we want to create we want to place other columns away from this end by eight meters of this center we want to place it somewhere here and I'll come to steel here I'll pick on the column and I want to place my column right at the center here but just look the way it is it, uh, it does it does look and i'm going to double click on it and reposition that let me try feed zero there and try to see how it looks that's not the best way it should and what i'm going to do just feed negative that and just feed 90 and we see how that looks 90 will be okay and if you come to navigate and that will be okay for us i'll come to base plate i'll just come here and type base plate right here base plate and i'll come and pick base plate right there and select the column and snap at the bottom end there and i need a different height what i'm going to do is just double click on this and come here and i'll feed a different height of 10 meters right there I click modify and it stretch itself all the way to 10 meters remember when buying the, the steel columns the standard height is 12 meters so 10 will, will be okay there's there will be no much cutoffs or wastage of steel now i want to populate this the same way i did the other end because a rafter will come all the way and terminate here and we have we'll have another rafter coming all the way to the center and we'll go step by step in creating this octagonal building we are starting off with the cre uh, a grid creation and the next tutorial will, i'll show you which way to go and how we'll be doing the next step 
now populating these we just use the same 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 tool uh, 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 polar array and to access it you come to applications and component here and type array right here pick on array double click on it to access the polar array dialog box and we'll go straight and select on it right there press your mill button on the mouse and snap at the bottom end here as your first point stretch all the way and snap on a similar position on the opposite like in the opposite direction and snap right there so where should be our third point our third point should be here and make sure you snap and snap in on uh, i mean on accurate position and we'll snap right there and we have our columns distributed or populated along the positions or on the position that we intended them to be on so i'll, I'll redraw to refresh our window and the moment to refresh uh, the previous grid line will come into into view and what we'll do just click hide we don't need we don't want to see it so this is how it looks and that's how you can create a uh, an octagonal grid line for octagonal buildings especially for charges if you intend to create a charge uh, of, of which is what we're trying to create so step by step we'll move step by step on uh, we'll either modify the columns how they will they look we'll either use the tapered columns and i'll show you in the next step thank you for watching and that's uh, that's how we can create octagonal octagonal grid line or any type of circular grid line this is how you can create it thanks a lot for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're new and pl uh, please stay ha at home because of this deadly and the deadly virus thank you and bye bye